Welcome to Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nilas and this is the series of tutorials and guides here on YouTube covering all aspects of the game and aims to provide insights and resources to help you improve. Now, have you probably heard this spiel before? I hope so, because you've been watching a lot of my other masterclasses. Today, we're going to continue sort of where we, uh, on the streak we're on, we did the green circuits, we did red circuits, and now we're going to do blue circuits or processing units, as they're actually called, which will finish up our circuits for the end game and uh, allow you to transition beyond sort of the first rockets and into the later games. Now, remember that each of these tutorials, or each of these episodes, now remember that each of these uh, Tutorials usually starts as a workshop session streamed live on my Twitch channel. This is over at Twitch TV slash Nilos, and you're very welcome to drop by. I am streaming on Twitch six days a week at 8 p.m. Central European time, and it would be awesome if you could drop by. It's uh, so much fun to talk to people in real time. I'm playing uh, three days a week of Factorio. That's Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you're only interested in that, those are the days. If you want to uh, see more videos like this, uh, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for... Uh, Notification on the latest videos. Ideas, comments, or feedback, leave them in the comment section below on the Discord server, or join, uh, shout at me and join in the disc, uh, in the Twitch live streams. Now let's dive into the design. Blue circuits. Well, 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 here we are. Those are always uh, difficult because uh, in the beginning when you build them, well, you don't expect how much you actually need. So here we have our blue circuits build, and uh, we're actually going to start by, by doing it in a different way. Basically, if we look at what I've done before, because I did a another circuit build where we did blue circuits. This is an upgradable one. You can see it starts like this. Let's stamp it down and see if I can upgrade it. Uh, well, now I'm going off, off script here. If I upgrade and then I stamp the other one down on top. Here. Yeah, well, that doesn't quite work. So basically, it uh, goes from just a few, just a, a single basic red belt of consumption to two blue belts and into this monstrosity here that takes four blue belts. So if if this is not my end game build, what uh, what is? What do we need more than this? Well, this one has the uh, the issue that it's actually using too many circuits and obviously we'd also have to do all of these because they're not even there there and it'll probably run out right so what we're seeing here is that if i look at this if i do that one i have to look at it in a blueprint to see how many circuits there are or how many so it's using 88 productivity modules 62 speed modules and 31 beacons. So we try to keep those things in mind. That's uh, basically our deal here. So this one is consuming four full belts, but could we do something that's better, something that's more efficient? I know that there's also some people who take great offense about the, let's say, creative, the way of doing uh, piping, but I don't care. So we, um, like with all other things we build, we are always kind of starting from this location and just trying to see if, if this is a, a feasible way to, to do this. So this one has the uh, the challenge here is that, uh, let's see, that it needs a lot of green circuits. I'm going to design this towards consuming two belts, two belts of green circuits. And uh, let's figure out how many it takes to do that. That's consuming 66, so let's uh, let's get a bit more of this out and just see how big it would have to be. That one, 99. I'm gonna take one out. I'm using a max rate calculator here, 88. Yep, so that's uh, it. And then we'll pretty obviously just uh, throw in an extra one just to make sure that we get closer to the ideal. Actually, we'll take two, something like this. And there, 90.5. So this is consuming two full blue belts exactly, entirely. Great. And uh, so this is gonna be sort of our base, but how are we gonna get two blue belts in here? Well, pretty the simple thing is going to be like this. Sure for this one. And basically go like 
something like this. That would be entirely okay. It, each of these can only can simply be done like this. So we, we're going to just try. this would be perfectly fine. I can definitely not squeeze in anything more on this side of the belt. So on this side here, we'd have to get both the red circuits in, and we'd have to get some here. So that is already problematic. So what we could do is we could do this thing, and that's kind of the only way we could do it. So I could take reds in, blues out, reds in, blues out, and then they could be on a separate belt. Let's make sure I have promised a long time ago that I would remember to do this. And I'm going to do it on the inside. I'm going to do reds. And over here, I'm going to do green and more green. And then copy paste. Yeah. So something like this. And then we could have that one out here. Generating some sulfuric acid. This is editor extended I'm using for this part. And you can see, hey, look at that. Everyone's happy, I guess. I can take this here, here, here here and then up at this location I can just filter for blue circuits and move on and I'm gonna take this one to capture it there so <clears throat> this looks good doesn't it or does it consuming 90 so this is one way of doing it the issue is that if you're going to the really late game and you want to build more of this then you take this blueprint and you cannot stamp it down next to it it simply won't tile efficiently. However, if we, what we could do is sort of rotate it the other way, and then it could work. I'm not going to do that because, but it's pretty obvious to see that you could rotate it the other way. One of the things we want to see is that if I did, I know it's not going to work, but this would give us the right amount of modules involved, and we can now say that this is 37 modules, 37 beacons. I'm actually going to do this reason why I'm doing this is so we can compare it to the other one. So this one is 37 beacons. This was 62 before, so it's 74 now. How much was this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that was 22. That's 80. So I, I've cut this down by 24. I increased this by 12. And I increased this by 6. I also think that if I'm really looking at it, let me just check this one. I think it's only, uh, this is also exactly consuming what it it should be. So this one is a more efficient build, but it obviously doesn't work. So we're gonna have to try something else. That's an alternative to this build. This build does scale or does tile, but it also uses a lot of pipes. Let's take these out because they are not here. Let's do another alternative to see if that's uh, working better. So the premise of the alternative build is going to be that we get things out from the side and then we could do here. And then aside from it, it's going to be pretty much the same. This one's going to be here. I'll get, I'm going to have let's say something along the lines of this here and I'm gonna have to beacons that one that one and actually I think I need to move this one down okay I can I'll take this up here you can see now things are going to be slightly different so we're going to have this one up here. These are still going to pick it up here. That one. Inbound. Inbound, outbound, outbound. Inbound, inbound, outbound, outbound. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's try to be repeating pattern instead. Inbound, outbound. There. And I'm going to get this one sort of by up here. And let's get one more of these. And now we get to see another little issue is if I build it here, you can see that the beacons and the assemblers are overlapping exactly. If they do that, they will not get enough beacons applied. So let's just do this. So you can see this one only has 
10 effect sources while this one has 12 effect sources because this one is only affected by these three plus these three and therefore that's going to be a big no-no. What if I do this? Not aligned, not aligned, not aligned, not aligned. I'm going to have to get a few more on either end but that's kind of expected. If we do this one I will just check if the numbers, the numbers are exactly the same and the only difference is that I now have better. So let's clean it up. Also, this one doesn't have any power. So we are going to uh, build a, build some power here for this one as well. That one, and let's try to be consistent and build it there as well. What if I build it here? Can you then leap all of, over all of it? And uh, no, you cannot. And you can leap all the way up here and get that in. And again, we're gonna get these sins here. And that one. And now, this will be in a slightly different location. It is producing and all I need is this one up here. There. And let me just go through. Well, not that one. And let's get some lights. I can do it right above the inserters, right above the inserter, right above the inserter. That's repeatable. So that is an alternative. You can do this one, but you will have the pipes on the outside. That means you can only tile it by two. Or you can build this one. This is the one I prefer. It uses slightly more modules, but it can be uh, tiled much easier. So this one, I am going to hold shift so we can see. Now we're at a point where we use 26 beacons for this. Well, actually that uh, is kind of misleading. I'm gonna go over here and build one and build two because this, if I look at the consumption of this part, it is now comparable to that one. It'll consume exactly, it says 181 and this one says 182, but it doesn't matter because it can only consume 180 because that's four blue belts coming in. So here we'll have four blue belts coming in. Let's take a look at the amount of modules and beacons. 40 mo beacons and 80 and 64. Forty beacons. So I'm using way more beacons. And I'm using it to count it down from 88. And this one's 62. This one cuts down from 88. So that's cut it down by 24 and this was 62 so it increases by 18 so at the end of the day if you really look at it it's really not that big of a difference from this original one to that one but it has a lot nicer piping going on and uh, you can just easily tile it these two can be combined how much is this one actually each of these units is cons oh, it's producing 6.3 so you need quite a lot of these to uh, to build a full blue belt but this one, the one we built in the original, that the ones that's upgradable, is also quite fine. I, I think I would prefer this one if I if I'm building a remote location, also from the fact that it goes in on one side, out on the other side. I do prefer that, while this one, very much a bus bait build where it goes in and it comes out on the same side. You can also easily change it, but this is designed to go this one cannot go back out on the same side it comes in because I'm reusing the same input belt to also become an output belt. So this one is definitely designed for trains where you load things in from one side and you load things out on the other side. So there you have it. That is my optimized blue circuit build. You can also use this one, but I wouldn't really recommend it. That's why I'm actually not putting it into the blueprint book that you will find in the description below because I don't think this one has a, a reason to have it. If you want to build something like this, then just build that one instead. It's it's much nicer. If you want to really get a nice end game thing that you can just tile as much as you like until you run out of green circuits because that will be what you're going to run out of. Not how many you want outbound, but how many you can supply inbound. Can you supply 32 lanes? Maybe that's kind of, or 24 lanes or whatever you, you need to do. Um, as we continue to scale this one up and see how much we can actually get it to if we have like a full block of this. This is only getting to 38, so we are going to need one more and then to get a full belt. 
Right. That one will give us 44 point a little tiny bit. And uh, that'll be, we'll round it off to a full belt. But also, if you just keep in mind, you're gonna need 633 divided by 45. You're gonna need 14 full belts inbound. But that's uh, that's that's how blue circuits are these days. So that uh, is another build that's uh, done. I uh, chose deliberately to do a quick build this time because I'm working on a much bigger tutorial on circuit networks that's way more complex and I just need a bit more time to do the scripting and preparation and setups and all that for those. But uh, do check out the channel in the future to, to see the circuit networks that's gonna be split into three different tutorials because it's such a big topic. I also have a ton of more things like new trains and that kind of thing. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below. It really means a lot to me that uh, there's uh, such a good interest. It's, it also really helps that uh, you are so good at liking the videos. I really appreciate it. And I can see the difference on uh, visibility. That means when people search on, on YouTube, they will find my videos, which I of course very much appreciate. Uh, speaking of appreciation, I very much appreciate all of the uh, lovely patrons who are supporting the channel and the work I do here. Uh, they are the ones who make it possible for me to continue doing this as a full-time, not just this Blue Circus, but all of the Factorio and all the other content on my channel. So thank you very much to the patrons. If you should feel uh, inclined to uh, uh, pitch in, uh, anything is appreciated, then there is a link in the description to below in the Patreon. But uh, there is, of course, no obligation whatsoever. We appreciate everyone who's being part of the community. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you want to hang out in real time, then there's a Discord server. And I'm also streaming live on Twitch six nights a week. Uh, that's Twitch TV slash Nila. So you're very welcome to drop by. I hope to see you either here on YouTube, on the Discord server, maybe even on Twitter, and certainly also on Twitch. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay effective.